<sighs> okay, I think I finally got up the nerve. I'm going to call the second cousin. And hopefully you'll be able to hear what's going on. Um, nervous. All right, so that was, yeah, we were on the phone for like two hours. And during the conversation, she connected me to another cousin, um, Miss Miles, and or Mrs. Miles. And um, we talked about um, her side of the family because I think she's related to what is probably my great-grandmother. Her maiden name is, you know, like she's related on that side. Of her family but um it was a very informative conversation um i did record it but she asked me not to post it so i'm just going to give you a summary of what we talked about but she did um she had said according to her looking over the dna and stuff like that that um i was a part of the nash family and she at first she was saying my mother or father but um after looking at it closer she said that it was probably most likely my dad because they had a lot of boys in the family so um pr it was probably my dad and um she asked about my adoption which i've shared in another video about uh it being closed and the information i found out from my non id report so i shared you know it was like a sharing thing like i shared a little bit about my story and then she informed me of what she could help me with basically um she was really encouraging about how this was you know breakthrough dna is going to help me solve you know the, the pieces of the puzzle that i've had for so long so it was real um encouraging she also told me uh also about the uh, nash family that they originated in franklin louisiana and then moved up to monroe so mostly the northeast part of Louisiana but of course they could have gone to Shreveport visited Shreveport you know it's only like an hour and a half away or hour away something like that so no telling but um uh she said that we, I mean I'm new to this but she's been doing it for like almost 20 years since 1999 she said so it's uh it's great having somebody who knows what they're talking about to help me when I'm brand new to it. Not even, you know, like a week old. So that was great. But um, she told me to consider it my new hobby now because it's a lot of work. And I'm learning that, like, even when I think I figure something out, I get new information. And then I have to undo everything that I thought I knew and figure something else out. So, yeah. So it was a really good conversation. Like I said, she connected me to another cousin. And then... um supposed to be connecting to yet another cousin so who knows by the end of this I'll probably have 10, 10 or 12 people helping me all together all of them with different levels of knowledge and of the family and of DNA and they'll be able to help me figure things out so that's all well and good make sure that I'm telling y'all everything but yeah like I said it was like a two-hour conversation so there's a lot to tell but that's the basis of it so We'll find out more as we talk to each other. So, yeah, stay tuned. Okay, so it's um, August 9th and um, the second cousin. Um, she told me to check out this site called GEDmatch, which is GEDmatch.com. And once you have um dna tests from either ancestry or 23andme you can you can download your raw data and then plug it into this ged match and regardless of which test your family took you can find you can find them like it'll pop up as matching across all of the tests taken so the dna from a bunch of different tests is put into one database and then you can find even more matches so I did that last night and it told me that it would take a little while to process. So I, you know, just did that. 
I was up all night looking up stuff. And so today it finally processed. I pull it up and there are two matches that are above the second cousin. Like as far as my DNA, like I have more DNA in, uh, in common than the second cousin. Here's a screenshot of my gem match results so you can see how it looks. And she had mentioned one of them, and I'm not going to say her name, because apparently she's quite a big deal in the entertainment industry, which I was like, really? <laughs> like, like, yeah, it's genetic. It's genetic. And she's in, I, I think, Los Angeles, whatever, but she's in the entertainment industry on the executive side, not like an actor or actress or something like that, but she's behind the scenes. But um, I'm pretty sure if I said her name, some people would know, because we have friends in common in the industry. But anyway, so, and then even a higher match than her is her father, which I'm finding out because, you know, I went, lurked on Facebook, saw her um, uh, family history, which was actually public, and then found the, the man who was my top match. So I'm looking at another video, you know, I'll go look at videos because it, it gives you like this chart with a bunch of numbers. I'm not scientific. Everybody knows this. That was like my least favorite subject. As far as genealogy goes, I'm new to all of this. So I look, you know, I try to figure out what all of these numbers mean. So it tells you um, there's a percentage and it gives you a chart and all this other stuff. And I'll put um, the video that I was watching in the comment for this video. So it pulls it up and it's like, you know, this person is like two generations away from you. And she was 2.4 generations away from me, which means like she's, she's a... Um, offspring of this person or whatever so i'm looking at this chart that th these people are telling me and so they're like oh this percentage means that this person could be this this or this and and everything so apparently her father could be my great grandfather or great uncle or something like that and he's on facebook too i haven't contacted either of these people because i want to talk to the second cousin first um and, you know, maybe she could help me figure all of this out. But apparently, because she had mentioned that this was her niece, I think. And so, um, yeah. So I was like, oh, because his name popped up first. And it was like the most, you know, genetic match. And so I'm like, oh, okay. And he's an older man or whatever. So, I mean, he could be great grandfather on dad's side. I don't know. I'm still trying to figure all of this out. But I just wanted to give y'all that update because I'm freaking out. Like... This is, I just finished one class, I finished class for the summer, and now this is my new class, I guess, until classes start in September. I'm taking genealogy in the interim. So, <laughs> so I'm freaking out. So, I'm, yeah, I'm about to finish um, going through all of, uh, I'm going to finish this video so I can figure out how to analyze all of these numbers that they're throwing at me and stuff like that. But, yeah, so according to what they have, so... This woman is like a cousin, maybe first cousin. I don't know. And then her dad is somewhere like great grandfather or great uncle. So he's either my dad's grandfather or my dad's uncle. Great uncle. Yeah, my dad's uncle. I don't know how that works. But... Yeah, so I'm trying to figure all this out, but I'll put the video that I've, I've been watching for the past 30 minutes um, in the comments. This is just freaking me out or whatever, especially when I pulled it up and it was like, and I like the name sounded familiar, but I was like, I pulled it up and I'm like, oh my gosh, like she in the entertainment industry. And so that makes sense. So it's apparently genetic. And um, he is in, in the, the, the man who is either great grandfather or great uncle is in texas so i just want to get that update so um yeah so by the end of this week i should have a lot more information hopefully but i know some people are wanting to know how it's going so, um and then yeah i'm looking at the, her pictures or whatever and she kind of looks like somebody who would be kin to me the nose is what i'm seeing in a lot of these pictures of the nashes so um yeah, this is freaking me out. And there are other matches that may be on my mom's side that I still haven't um, looked over or looked through and stuff like that. But 
this father side is slowly snowballing. Not slowly. It's snowballing. So um, hopefully when I talk to them, or I can get more insight on how to analyze these things. But, and yeah, that's the latest update. So I may have found my great-grandfather. Let you know. All right. Bye.